Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to uh, for the weekly forex analysis. My name is George. I'm back for this Saturday today, and I'll be uploading this video in the next uh, few hours. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and let's just dive straight into this. So in today's video, I'm gonna be analyzing euro against USD, followed by British pounds USD, and see what are the potential for the. Uh, for the trading opportunities. So I just see a couple of things in here and uh, yeah, I'll be sharing with you as well as entries, uh, exits and the stop losses or the take profits, not the exits, but take profits sounds better. So let's just dive straight into it. So first of all, we're gonna start with a Euro USD. You should be able to see my screen already. So Euro USD start uh, from the daily time frame and then drill down to the four hourly and maybe one hourly is if we're gonna have a look at it. There's a few things I do want to mention or it's definitely worth mentioning it. Okay, let's just dive into starting with a daily time frame. So just have a bit of a run through. So for the last couple of weeks, so we had this nice aggressive reaction up here, so this uh, the bullish reaction followed by the correction up uh, down here. Uh, not a very good one that I, I like to see a nice either channel or uh, range movements, but it was not the best one. And then we had this nice up uh, aggressive up movement, and then we have correlated you know, like range. So it's been a correction up and down, up and down, and looks like we have broken it. So this move down here. I think I did analyze, I'm not sure if this kind of currency or this different currency, but I was looking at the Euro USD and um, I was thinking that it's gonna go uh, down. But after the price has broken this uh, level, uh, we had this nice uh, turn. Of course, the US dollar is um, because of the news as well. So, uh, USD is not particularly strong, so dollar is uh, getting weaker and weaker. So, that's uh, contributing to, um, to this as well. So I do see the way it's looking now. We have this nice move for the for this week, uh, for this week, and also for the last end of the last week as well. So we we are seeing a nice move towards upsides, and I do see this at least going to up to this level at least for the very minimum uh, to go up to these highs, which is around about one nineteen. Probably 11930, so about 11930, so up to this level. Let me just draw this one out. So around about 40 as well. So around one 11930 to 40. So this uh, this is the zone. So I do see the price going to towards this way. At the very minimum, maybe even gonna go up and take out the spike high or even continue to to higher. So depending if if um we're gonna see more weakness for the USD, then that's gonna be good. But for now, I do see that the price will heading uh, towards up to this uh, level, which is a good, uh, what the, the price is currently at the moment is a good 100 pips away. So that's a decent, uh, decent move. Even if we have a look at the weekly time frame, it does look pretty good. Uh, this weekly bullish candle for this week, and also last week was not that bad either. Uh, but of course we have this uh, nice bearish uh, bearish candle. But I do see uh, this one going up to, as I said, uh, to this uh, to this level, which is uh, about hundred pips away. And then we had this nice moves for the for, for a while ago. Okay, let's uh, jump into the four hour time frame because I want to keep this one nice and short. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, on a four-hour time frame, it does looking good. I do want to, um, I do expect less like, some pullback, so I'm hoping some pullback on this case uh, because the price is. So we have this uh, nice resistance on a four-hour time frame. We can see it in here. It's uh, quite a lot of price action going on. It's nice lows and highs. I'm hoping the price is gonna have a reaction on this uh, on this area and potentially have a nice. Nice pullback. So uh, in this way, oops. So what I'm hoping, if we go to the date time frames again, so I see I see a two two potential uh, for the retracements. The first one's gonna be one eighteen around one eighteen fifteen, which is which is around this low down here. So one eighteen fifteen eighteen. So which is uh, this low down here? The price would have come around this low, but this is not a very strong one. The, the stronger one, which is more reliable, would be down at this uh, this level, 117, let me see, 
So around 1780 years old. That would be more uh, reliable as of the is more strong, is a lot more price action on a higher time frames, and that's more reliable than um, than just uh, just this area in here. So this is much stronger, but it's around 50 pips away, which is uh, which is quite a bit. Uh, so you just need to wait and see what's gonna happen. Uh, the price. What price likes to do sometimes it might come down to the uh, this support, no, this is a support level. So the one support and the more stronger support is down at this level. We also have this uh, moving averages. This is a thirty-two um, simple moving average. Um, I started using this one. I've been I've been experimenting quite a bit. So I'm um, trying to forge some uh, new strategies or uh, see which one is going to work better in which current market conditions and try to basically improve it uh, improve all the time so i'm just like always testing and experimenting to see which one is if i can make uh, my strategies or my you know win rate or return in general uh, better and better so um yeah what the price likes to do sometimes the price likes to come down to mild support or resistance level depending in this case the support level and then just shoots um uh, should back up in this case so we're gonna see i will be taking the trades uh down at this level and if obviously the price continues to fall and i got stopped out then i will give it another try down uh, at this level which is as i said it was 117 roughly or 117 uh, let me just bring this one up it will be easier to see one oh no one so it's one Roughly about yeah about 11790, 11780, give or take. Roughly about covering the Okay, put it like this way. Okay. So roughly about 117 and 90, close 11790. So which is a low price action as well as we get the moving average in here. So it's a, a very good um, area for the price to stop and potentially to shoot uh, higher. So I'm targeting uh, this. This would be my uh, profit targets, and as I said, there will be the two entries: one and down to this level, which is one eighteen. Oops, I forgot what was the entry. One eighteen fifteen, and if that one doesn't work, then the, this is the strongest support level further down, which is at one seventeen eighty. Uh, in terms of the stop losses goes, uh, stop losses. If we enter it. 1.18.15, then I would be looking, I will not give this one a too much, I will not give this one a too much um, space, uh, just in case if the price is going to probably continue to fall, then I'll give this one about 20 pips stop loss, that will be enough, so if the price continues to fall, then I need to um, basically wait for the second entry, which is down at 1.17.80. So if we're gonna get entry at 117, uh, 80 or 90, in this case, looks like more 90 than 80, then... Yeah, the good place to put the stop losses will be around 117, 50 or 40 zone. 40 would be up the maximum, because that will require about 50 pips uh, stop loss. So it gives more than one to two risk reward, which is uh, still pretty decent. If we're gonna run it up to this uh, this level at 119, 190, 40 to 35 zone. So yes, decent, decent enough for the trade. Uh, in terms of risk reward goes, it's pretty good. So, so as I said, 20 pips on the first one, if we're gonna get uh, the entry up down to this level, or if not, then we'll be around 40 pips or 50 pips, and we're gonna stop us, it's gonna be down at this level for what's uh, 117.40 or 117.50 as of the stop losses it goes. Okay, let's see what else I need to mention it. I don't really see anything. I did mention everything pretty much. Yeah, guys, if you've got any questions, you can just leave it in the comment section. I'll go back to you when, um, whenever I see uh, the uh, message or comments. Uh, yeah, not in terms of the one hour time frame, it doesn't really look in anything. Yeah, I do like to get onto the pullbacks. In this case, I would not just jump in unless I see something, uh, some kind of crazy moves. Uh, yeah, also depends how the price is going to come down. If, if, if the price is going to have something like this move, uh, then it might put me off this bearish candle. Probably going to put me off to take the trade and maybe I'll just wait 
uh, to take the trades on the second entry, which I just mentioned. It okay, now let's continue with the uh, cable or GBP USD. Even though uh, the cable and the Euro USD are highly correlated, uh, there are big differences in here. I like the uh, the the setup on the Euro USD, the way it's looking, the uh, the price action more on the Euro USD than on the British pound USD. But still, there is a potential. Um, but the thing I don't like in here is we had this very aggressive uh, sort of move downside. Then the price had this move down, then kind of corrected, it pulled back, and then we had another move downside, and now it's kind of coming back, uh, coming slowly back up. So this is, I don't particularly like this move. Uh, I would generally wait on this one to push a little bit higher. So we're going to see how it's going to go. Uh, but as I said, the euro is still looking better in terms of the uh, the price action, the way it's looking is better than the British pounds uh, USD. So this, I would wait a bit more, maybe give it a try. But um, I would I would wait on this one, and if it sets up, then I will take a more client to take the euro USD rather than the British pounds USD, depending how it's gonna go. Uh, also with the Brexit and all this, what's going on on them. Um, UK, so that can have uh, impacts. Might be positive, might be negative. Uh, we do not know. At least not yet. Okay, so for this one, even though we had this nice uh, daily candle, so it's a daily time frame, nice daily candle or the bullish candle, uh, we left it on Friday. Uh, yeah, generally I would wait for the pullback for the price to come down, potentially down at this level, which is a, a good. Mm, more than good enough actually uh, because we have a load of price action down at this level so I would potentially wait for this one for the price to pull back and then I would uh, will take any trade towards upside uh, however I would want to wait a bit more on this one see what's going to do also what the uh, euro usd and other correlated pairs gonna look like what they're doing because because they are highly correlated uh, but they do still uh, have their differences how they move um, on, uh, that doesn't mean because they are highly correlated doesn't mean they're just moving exactly the same way because uh, one of them kind of may take a longer time to work out so for instance like this, let's say the uh, GBP USD is coming down while the Euro USD is kind of uh, climbing up uh, that means that yes maybe it will join to for the uh, British pound USD Upside as well, where the euro is, uh, euro USD is going uh, towards the same way, but uh, sometimes it happens that it can be the other way. So it might be like euro USD joining the uh, uh, GBP USD. So they do have their differences, and even though they are highly correlated, so that's why I need to watch uh, watch uh, both of them for uh, all, all the highly correlated uh, pairs. So in this case, this is more of a waiting game. But if you really want to trade this one and you can't wait, then I would have, uh, in, in terms of if I would have uh, take the trade on a pullback, that would be down at one, uh, it's one twenty nine ninety zone, around about this level where my cross is at the moment. Uh, we has, we have a very good uh, support level. We have these highs in here. We got these small lows, these spikes as well as these price actions. There's loads of price action going on, as well as the thirty two moving. Average, so there's a loads of um, very strong support level. So if the price of the trace is down at this level, but I will be very careful of watching uh, how the price gonna retrace to that level if the price decides to do that. Uh, in terms of the targets, I uh, would be looking. Let's see. Uh, we got this level, so we can have a potential two targets. Uh, if you wanna split, if you wanna split the um, the trade we can have a potentially two targets one at 31 30 and the other one we can run it further up at 32 50 uh, actually with three as well if you want to target these highs as well so these highs up here so potentially can have a three targets one up here second up here and third one is uh, here uh, or here. If you want to, depending on your size, uh, position size, you can split the trades on that one and take one third of here, one third of here, and then the rest of it take off on uh, this uh, level. I do that sometimes, but I generally like to uh, have the one or two target marks because then uh, 
makes it a bit complicated. Okay, so these are these three levels. As I said, the entries are potentially looking down at this level. Uh, one, which one did I mention? One third, one twenty-nine, maybe one twenty-nine eighty, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the target's gonna be these three targets. It, uh, in terms of these stop losses, uh, stop losses would probably this one needs fifty. Yeah, this one's gonna need at least forty or fifty uh, pips stop loss on that. I would I would recommend to you about fifty stops, uh, fifty pips. But you can get away the forty pips as well. Because if the price, if the price will manage to come down around this level, it's probably going to continue to uh, to fall on that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to smash the like on this video if you find this video helpful, and if you've got any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you when I see your comment. As well as if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. So it's not just about the analysis. I do upload also a lot of about the mindsets and how to improve your trading in general. So make sure to subscribe. The new videos are up every single week. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next video.